Brian King, UK Floyd TV. Uh, we're over in uh, Telford at Dan's Gaff again. Um, another two of you this week. Dan, uh, how are you doing? Yeah, doing all right, thanks. Yeah, still hot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> make the most of it. Yeah. Uh, Dan, what we're doing this week? What tools are we review uh, reviewing this week? Yeah, we're going to do the creasing and tucking tools. Um, we've got uh, one here, this uh, Robert Swan, which we've just taken out of the box. I've never touched one before, so you'll be getting a first time review off that. This is the Roberts rolling carpet tucker. That's got the, uh, is it got the nylon wheels? It's not, that's not a creasing tool is it? It's just a, is it just a tucking tool? Just says tucking tool, yeah. yeah. Right. And then we've got the uh, the speed cats. I, I, use, I couldn't fit a it without a speed cap. No, so no. I use one of those every single day. No, I'd say that's the best thing that I've had in recent times that I, I use all the time. Don't I don't tend to crease as much as I tuck with it. Um, but yeah, it, it works it works perfectly and we'll see how this compares to it as well. Um, in the combination with a trimmer and a tucker, that's where you, you can reduce the time on a job. You can only go so fast, but you can slim it down. Uh, or another beauty of using this and that is the extra time you save is the time that you spent a bit more on on your prep so you can speed up the carpet fitting and spend more time with your little bits of gripper get your preparation so you, the man who can fit them in two seconds uh, you, you're getting up with that man apart from you're not marking the walls and you've done everything according to British standards with the speed cat, um, same with me. I use it to crease, but I don't use it to tuck. No. I don't know why. I, I just, know. I, just I, I know. I do. The, and I do the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, basically, we'll have, we'll have a look at them first. We've just taken this one out of the box. It's got a nice base plate on it. Comfortable handle. Um, it's got three nylon wheels. They're all at the same height as well. These wheels are. Whereas with the speed cat, it's got three metal wheels and the wheels actually go up in a graduation is that showing up on there so you get a deeper one the middle size one and a smaller one when i first got this being a left-handed person i couldn't work out why one day it worked perfectly the next day it didn't well that's because it does have to be pushed from right to left um so it, it, it's it's a right-handed tool but as a left-handed person now i know that it's simple to use because I trimmed the one way and I and I took the other. So um, we we have got uh, an original got one. What? Well, a, a friend friend of ours, Tim yeah. Tim Nicholas, invented it. Uh, that was made for left and right handed because yeah. you had the adjustable nuts. Yes, this 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 has got some nuts that you can adjust the plate in or out. Um, you can see them there. Brian's had them welded up to stop it from. To stop it from moving. Yeah, it kept adjusting. So what I did, I just put some spots. Set it. I set it for what I. Yeah. What was comfortable for me, and then I put spots on it. Which, if you look at it, you've actually set it exactly the same as they decided to set the fixed one. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we got we got both of these. Um, we'll, we'll we'll trim an edge. Well, actually, we'll show. If we get the stretcher. Basically. The angle you've got on here, that's a 10 degree angle. So if, if you're doing a, a, a stretch at 10 degrees, got that parallel with that, with the uh, with the side of the speed cap. So that's that's showing it, took it on. Before, um, you, before you use the cutting tool, can you just uh, side, can you do a bit of side cutting? Yeah, sure. This is how this is how I cut. This is how you cut every day. We'll cut a bit more with the uh, with Brian's trimmer. So we've got a nice cut there. Not too much to break the skirting off. So, got the speed cap. Needs pushing down. Um, the thing, when I first used one of these, same again. I didn't, I didn't learn how to use it. Yeah. I ripped down the skirting yeah. uh, to Mark tuck it wall. in and mount all the skirting. Yeah. 
what I didn't know was you meant to keep the base to, press pressed down. Well, yeah, and the same person who told you how to use it told me. Uh, basically, so you're holding it like in your, in your arm here. I'll, I'll pretend to be right-handed. You're holding it in your arm there and, and you're pressing the base plate down, which pushes the wheels down. So they only drag the bottom of the skirting and don't mark it. If you don't push it down, it does. Like, well, if you don't use it right, it doesn't work properly. Um, so do you want me to give that a little bit of a, yeah, uh, a tuck? Yeah, tuck it took a bit with the speed cat and then we'll have a do with I mean, the I, I, I'm, stuff, I'm left handed and I find to use it like that is, it is perfect. Um, so it's got a graduated tuck there, so you're coming in, it's pushing it a bit, next wheel a bit more, last wheel gives it the finish. Uh, leaves you with a nice edge, you can finish it with an awl, the way of the pile to get it looking crisp. Uh, what about the Roberts tucker? Should we finish tucking it off with that and see that I could go for a ride on this. Hope you Yeah, no trouble at What's all. What's that like? Yeah. Works nice, yeah. yeah. Did, but disadvantage to that for me. Uh, oh, actually, you can see there. Look, Brian, you can. Uh, uh, it hasn't just got a fixed height on the wheels, so this will go left or right-handed. Is that camera got it? Yeah. It's got slots on the wheels. You can graduate your wheels exactly. I was just. I didn't want to say because someone would uh, kindly let us have this to use. I was going to say it hasn't pushed it down and tucked it as crisp as this. So you can adjust the wheels to you? If I'd adjusted like the it. wheels it would, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, no problem with that. Um, speed cap, creasing and tucking tool, that's what the cat stands for. Yeah. Um, does two jobs. This, I can see, doesn't mark the skirting. It rolls quite nice. Got not a bad thing to say about it. So would you give that a thumbs up? Is it something you'd buy? Yeah. Um, I, I own this, so I've got no need to upgrade on it. Uh, again, it's got nylon wheels. I think you can buy the wheels replacements. I've seen people asking, and it adjusts. So yeah, on first contact with this, and it, it, it rolled along there nice. Yeah, they're both as good as each other. Um, I prefer metal, uh, and, and I can crease with this one as well. I'd, I'd assume you could probably use that to crease, but I, I, I don't know how long it'd last if you'd break the wheels off, put in a bit of pressure trying to uh but yeah they're, they're both as good as each other which uh if you i'll keep waiting now two seconds but well, you saw how easily we, we went along the wall with that i mean this is what some people use you get some nice marks on the skirting with that i mean you can you can you can pop it in with that uh, but i mean the amount of time these things take when well, basically let me just turn like that I mean, you, you're tucking a wall in a couple of minutes with that. Um, when you're using something like this, you are going up and down. You need to be careful you're not putting little marks again. If you're using this stair tool, remember, stair tool. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. <laughs> um, and also, if you've got a little burr on it, it'll mark the walls. These are pretty safe. Um, Dan, I've noticed uh, your speed cat over there. Like a, like any other tool you have, you can't leave it alone, you've no, got to adjust it. No. So well, when can I, can I, you tell us what you've done with that? I've run out of things to cut up, so <laughs> I've cut up my tools. All I've done with mine is I've put a slightly bigger angle on there, which then I must have had a dud one, because I've realised that all the others have got the same angle as mine. Um, I've put two screws to stop it marking the wall, but since I've done the other modifications it hasn't marked the wall because I wasn't using it properly. I put that little indent in to remind me to use it right handed at first and I chopped the handle off it, it goes under radiators. I, I actually use it like that, knuckles on the base plate, thumbs under the handle. Um, it's just a motorbike foot peg that I've, I've put onto that. It does the same job, I did use this one because uh, obviously they don't sell a modified one but that suits me, it gets under uh, low units. The thing I would say about these, when you come to your fitted units in a bedroom, you've got some wardrobes with one of them plinths that moves in and out. Uh, if you, the trimmer gives you a good cut, 
uh, or, or, or your side cutting but when you tuck with one of these it doesn't tend to move the plinth away as much um, I'm quite impressed how you could get these flimsy fronts of wardrobes and use a tool like this and it tucks it in nice and doesn't end up making it uh, well it's sometimes impossible with a moving wardrobe isn't it with the, yeah, the bottom yeah. that moves to get to, to get it to tuck nice so this is the best thing I've got in my tool bag in recent years and I wouldn't be, wouldn't be without it now. So. Same with me. Yeah. And, and this, I, I mean, I'd like all of these tools. The only trouble to me with any of these tools is you have to keep buying them. Yeah. Um, well, St uh, Steve from uh, uh, IWS sent us that. Yeah, I yeah, end. yeah. Um, I, would you give that the thumbs up? Or? Yeah, I, I, I would give, I, I'd give both of them the thumbs up. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, far better than the crane trimmer. <laughs> but no, I, I, they both do a job. Um, this got nylon wheels, less chance of marking. This, if used correctly, still isn't going to mark. I do like metal tools, so uh, I mean, my favourite is this, and I've never seen. I, I've grabbed hold of one of these at a couple of shows. Uh, that's the first time I've used one. It, wor it works perfectly well, same as the speed cap. Um, the the speed cap, I couldn't I couldn't fit the carpet without it. No, so no. that's something I use every day. I crease with it, but like I said, I don't tuck with it. I use yeah. my line on half. Um, yeah. What are you, what are your verdicts on them? S say somebody what's never used a speed cap, I'd recommend one. Yeah, yeah. You you need to have a little go with it. Uh, go and mark your own skirting with it by using it wrong in your own house. But I, I mean, you can see that I use this. I've worn this away. Um, on a long straight wall, I would use. A, a tucking tool round the fire grates and architraves I, I'd use a tucking knife um, so basically uh, the, again it's a combination of these things you could you could if you just went out with one of each of these and no other tools in your tool bag I think you'd struggle you need to have a, the combination of stuff in your bag or in the van um, and you get a favorite and your bag gets filled in the end with stuff you use Occasionally, you have to bail out all the stuff that you didn't use or you didn't think was any good. Um, and as you go through life, you tend to do things slightly differently. And you might pick a tool up, like I've picked up something I haven't touched for 20 years, and I'm, I'm going to get it back out again now in, instead of messing with the trim master. So, uh, no one can say this is for that, that's for the other. On personal preference. Personal preference yeah. again. Yeah, I keep saying that though, don't I? But mm. um, once again with these tools, uh, RWS have uh, kindly sponsored these videos. So any of the tools you see, uh, if you enter Dan's tool, the discount code on the website as you're ordering, you'll get a discount on all the tools. Yeah. So yeah. Thanks yeah. To RWS. Yes, thanks to RWS. Yes, thank you. And uh, as a roundup, I'd say these are a good tool. Thumbs up from me. Yeah. Uh, and until next week, Dan. Yeah, till next week. I'll see you soon. Cheers. Cheers.